Hello, this is Cybergiant. Today I'm going to talk about NJ Star, which is a website, a little uh, word processor that you can type in, like uh, using Pinyin to transfer into Mandarin. And it has in a traditional format and also simplified format. These are some examples. This comes, they also have a pro version type of font samples like you can change your different font size what I'm going to charge you is just about 10 to 20 dollars a month let's say I want to type something for example like hello You can type in like the whole opinion together. And then it gives you a small little translation. See how this is how it's spelled in its opinion form. Which means how do you do, how are you, or hello. It like, so it's like easy. And it also has a, a, it looks like the same. Does it have a speech in it? Then it types it up right here in big characters. Let's see what other features it has because it has a lot of different features. Okay, this one. Radical. Enforced teaching rules. Uh, not enforced. Okay, it's enforced. Some inputs may be disabled by the rule. Are you sure you want to do it? There's a pop up dictionary. It seems like it does. Now, if you want to look at the uh, dictionary, let me see what this one is. Dictionary. Okay, you can translate like Chinese to English. English to Chinese, very simple. You input your name. The company is from 1991. Uh, it worked until 2004, but it's still operates but it's a free translate software they can also translate into Japanese as well see what they have here. you'll have to uh, go online download the software for the Japanese version mostly is Chinese English and communicator they have a communicator software Bao Ni is the owner of JSTAR. Hansa of the day. Do you know this Hansa? A little bit hard to read, but there's a Hansa information. Four corner, uh, which is Zhen. This is the Zuyin. It was like related like opinion, which means uh, treasure, precious, valuable, rare, value highly. And the word of the month always, word of the day is always changes. So, okay, find next, find previous, go to. You also change colors right here, and you can. Create like a document. Once you save it, you can save it on your desktop. The features are pretty much the same. You can print, edit, view. Okay, for the view part, you can uh, choose uh, which mode you can switch in between simplify or traditional Chinese. So they have both. So you can switch in between. And also, you can do like read only section. These are the pre default ones. Draft mode, ruler, toolbar, format bar, search bar, input, status, hyperlink, cursor, and simplify. You know, insert section, format, basic comment. In the input section, they have, uh, you can do standard pinion, double pinion, zooey. Double pinion is like, uh, they give you like multiple formats of it. They have a dictionary manager. Tanjay, Tanjay is like a, a 
Taiwanese version. You can enforce teaching rules, enable dictionary pop up windows, and the help feature. If you need help with a user, they have a user manual and a text sampler. You also could go to straight to the website. Okay, Let's see if the website works. And seem to pop up. Okay, and I'll go with manual old fashioned. And then when you use it, it's like pretty much good for like writing uh, papers and practices. How you type online. You're just using English, like English to type Chinese, but you just got no pronunciation. And it's like usually four terms like ni, right? Ni, ni. Neat and neat. It's like four tones. Mostly it's four tones. Some only have like uh, just like a flat tone, like like a question mark. Like, the question mark is called ma. Just a flat tone. Well, doesn't seem like it's uh, opening, but it still works. You can download the free software, it's free to use still. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with everyone so you know about NJ Star, Chinese word processor, and have fun learning Chinese. It's a great software. It has dictionary embedded, and you can use Simplify or Traditional. Simplify is the one used for mainland China, while Traditional is used for Taiwan. And they use but their system's a little bit different. I'm trying to use with Pinyin. Well, Taiwan use Bopomofo, which has no translation, which is used like uh, different, uh, like individual characters to create, help you create a word, which uh, makes it simple for you. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Goodbye.